this video, I'm going to work out two examples where we are going to take an equation and rewrite it into standard form. Standard form, as you recall, is ax plus by equals c. The thing that is the most important here to remember is that once you get it in that form, you have to make sure that a is a positive integer. That coefficient a must be a positive integer. All right, so for this first example here, I've got y equals 3x plus 5. So if I'm going to rearrange my terms, I want that 3x on the left-hand side in front of the y so that I have standard form. So I need to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. Now when I do that, it's going to fall out on the right-hand side of the equation. All right, now when I choose to write the terms on the left hand side, I'm going to automatically put the x term first and then the y term second. So I'll have a negative 3x plus a y equals 5. All right, now at that point, I then have to stop and look at what I have. I have a negative 3x plus y equals 5. So as far as terms being in the correct order for standard form, I have that. However, looking at that leading coefficient, a, it is a negative 3, and I must make it a positive integer. So to do that, I need to multiply through by a negative 1. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to distribute that negative 1 to each of the terms, all right, thus making that a coefficient a positive 3. So then we'll have a positive 3x and a minus y, and then equals negative 5. So that is rewriting that first equation into standard form. Now, on the second example, all right, I have uh, been given point slope form, y minus 4 equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 10. The first thing I'm going to do is distribute the 1 half, just so I have some individual terms here. So then I'll have a y minus 4 is equal to a 1 half x and then minus 5. All right, now again, what we need to do is move the x term to the left-hand side, but we also have to get rid of that 4 on the left-hand side and move it to the right-hand side. So I'm going to try to actually do those in both steps, and both steps, you know, both in the same step. So I'm going to subtract a 1 half x from both sides of the equation. And then I also want to get rid of that 4, so on the 4, I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. All right, and then what that's going to do is the 4s then will cross out on the left-hand side, and the 1 half x will cross out on that right-hand side. Now again, on my left-hand side, when I choose to write the um, terms, I want that x term in front, so I'm going to automatically write it first. So I'm going to have a negative 1 half x, and then plus the y is equal to a negative 5 plus a 4 is going to be a negative 1. Now again, I have them in the correct order for standard form. However, that leading a term is a negative 1 half, and I'm not allowed to have a fraction or a negative. So this time, I need to multiply through by that least common denominator. If I multiply through by a 2, that'll get rid of the fraction. If I multiply through by the negative, that will make the negative go away. So I'm going to multiply through by a negative... 2, and I'm going to distribute that to each one of the terms. Okay, so then when I do that, I end up with a final answer of x minus 2y is equal to 2 for standard form. All right, so the main point here is making sure that that a coefficient is a positive integer. And when you choose to write your terms on the left-hand side, you always want that x term first and then that y term second. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks.